Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm Theresa Miria. On this episode of House and Home, we have another delicious cooking with Goodman Fielder International. Leon Gawi talks to us about the quality star audio range of speakers that they have available at Brian Bell. And if you're a pet lover, stay watching. Our wonderful friends from the RSPCA talk to us about their pet adoption process. Dr. Ami joins us again on another segment of Healthy Minds. And for all you technology savvy viewers, we bring to you something new and exciting on technology. Keep watching to find out what it is. And to close our show, we bring to you another interesting life hack segment on Bind the Clips. Now to get our show on the road, here now is Cooking with Goodman Filler. Bonjour, bonsoir. All right, what I'm going to do for you tonight, I'm going to do something very simple. That's it. Oh, what we need is the flour. You could do that in a village, you could do that in a settlement, or you could do that in a house. I will make it easy for you. Oh, get out, look him. Oh, get out, Sambi, no put him, no pot. And now, flour, brami plan, nas plan, kiss him back, look, kai All right. Now, salt. Salt, give him one plus spoon, two plus spoon of salt. I know you like salt up here, so I'm good plan. Okay, yeast blommy plan, one plan, two plan, three plan. Dry yeast. You buy him anywhere, supermarket, tasty, guru, blah, 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 uh, anywhere. Waterfront or whatever, or shop blow you plan. Good to cook, good to eat, medoli. Okay, one plus spoon, he come. We put him rohab. All right. Okay, now. Half pot. 500 ml water. One plat coke bottle, full of the water. Put him up. Bang, 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 bang. Lovely. Now, me mix him with the big stick blow me. All right, you savez. All right. Cut him, my piece not good, I don't make me look like a... All right, so we mix him with glitter salt. If you, if you see, the dough is too dry a little bit. I'm using 500 ml flour, but depends. Some flour, we drink more water, some flour, we drink less water. So you have to see how the, how, how, how the mix goes. So what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to run out of water, so... All right. So what I'm using whole flour, flame whole flour, sorry, because the flour has got everything. It's not been washed. The coarse is there, the skin is there, the seed is there, and everything is on. It's good for you, good for the kids, good for the stomach. What I'm doing now, I'm mixing the mix. Okay, and as you see, the mix is going to get together. So I'm mixing slowly, slowly, slowly. It will take a time, so I don't know, do something. Look the, look the city. Think about something, food about your girlfriend as you're mixing it. If you don't like her, you mix it harder. So you don't like it, so you're just okay. All right, so as we're going to come with something a bit fluffy, as you see, I'm going to open another bag of flour down there. Okay, what I want to obtain is a nice and not too hard and not too soft mix, okay? So I'm mixing it. I'm mixing it. As you see, she starts to get better together now. What's on my hand? Don't worry about it. I will splash it up. I will get some flour. That's how we do it in the kitchen, so don't worry about it. I never use glove. I'm, I'm not dirty, I'm clean. Okay? So as you see, when I'm going to finish my mix, all the flour will go for my hand. So I'm mixing. 
I'm mixing with the wind. I'm mixing, I'm mixing. You see, that's going to get together now. So as you get together like that, to show you more what I'm doing, I will put it down there. All right? So you go like that. You go like that. You go like that. You push the door all the time. We go like that. We go like that. And we push it. And we push it. And we push it. And we push it. So when you come to the thing, so well, you got a nice piece of door on your hand. Okay, now what are we going to do? We're going to put the door for rest. You have to rest your mix. You mix your mix, you rest your mix for half an hour before you use it. If you don't rest it, the bread will be very tight and it's not going to be nice on the mouth, okay? So you have to rest your mix. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it here on that one and I'm going to let him rest for half an hour. Are you there? You're still here. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> All right, so what we have now, magical. Bang! The door will rise. Rise! Rise! With the yeast. All right, some rise with something else. We are rise with the yeast. Okay, never mind. We'll have a nice door. So what are we going to do with the door? I'm not going to use any knife. I'm not going to use anything. I'm going to use my hand. They're clean. Okay, we cut the door. One, one. It's okay now, we're going to get one piece of the door. Nicely, she, now she's been rest, she's smooth. And with your hand, with your hand. It's all by the hand. With your hand, it's not really about the flowers, the hand. All right, one there. And we should assemble the that one. You push it, you roll it. You push it, you roll it. I like it. I like the feeling of it, honestly. So now what we have, we got, Two loaves of bread. One will be used in the oven, one will be used in a fry pan. All right. So the one for the oven, I'm going to get a little bit of flour now. Flame the best. All right. And I'm going to put it down there. Okay. I'm just giving the shape. Shape is very important. You know. And make sure it's all tight. That make sure all the air going out. Okay. You time up. You see as I'm pushing the door. And I'm pushing the door with my hand, like that, like that. Start to try tonight with something like a balloon or something like that, so tomorrow you'll be all right, huh? Okay? Put him down, put him down, push him, push him, pass him, pass him, roll him, lick, lick your hand, blow you. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's nice and firm, very good. Shape, blow you, blah, look him. And now. All right? Good. That one will rise for 30 minutes. When she's right for 30 minutes, preheat the oven, 190. And it will go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And cook finish. All right. I'm going to let him rest now for a while, and I will go back to my other things. I'll see you shortly. I'm going. All right. All right. Hello. Hello. Now we're going to go for the other one. That's the one we're going to cook in fry pan. Put him in the fire blue you plat, put him in the fry pan, put him in the oil. We go down there and we show you. Now, we're going to put them down. We put them down, we put them down, and flap it in the air. Hopla! Hopla! I'm chef blue, Mr. Apia. I'm wrong, that's all. You look him? That's the one. That we go in the fry pan. You plan my stinking low breakfast, but you plan, you're hungry, hungry Thomas. Go to the shop, buy some plan, butter, medoli. Cut him, back him, cook him. And that's all. And blow up, yeah. So now what we're going to do? We're going to go to my kitchen and cook it. What you do if you're not sure, you take him a little piece of the bread. You throw him in the fry pan. It's not hot yet, so we have to wait a little bit. You have to preheat your fry pan all the time before you cook it. Don't throw it in a fry pan when it's not hot. So I just did one off. Okay, now the oil is hot. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to take my bread door and I'm going to put him low up. Give him about five, six minutes, one size, turn him around, five, six minutes, take it out. Don't give too much time. Okay. There's a different process than the one from the oven. So you have to cook it slightly. You see, when it starts to get hard, a little bit on top, and we start, start to get cooked in the other side. So I let him cook for a while. When a skin go, go dry a little bit on top, the other skin will go dry too, so it's going to be cooked. And the flavor, the whole meal cooking, yummy, yummy, yummy. Very nice. Now we give about five to six minutes to one side and five to six minutes to the other side. All right. Whoa. Whoa. I'll turn him around again. No, that side. If you think the fire is too hot, well, put him down a little bit. So that will be your finished product after 10 minutes. We get it out. We take it out. We shamp it. We sip it. And we put him in the bread. Lovely. Thank you, Francois. Thank you, Flame. Thank you, Mr. Margarine. We have something very nice for you tonight. Thank you very much. Not for you, that's for me. Thank you. Okay, what are we going to do now? We're going to get the bread and put him in the oven. That's another process. We done the fry pan one. Now we're going to do the bake oven one. Take him easy. Put him low up. Kiss him with a blunt knife. And blow him. Kiss him some blood flour. Put him on top. Okay? And give him another knife cut. Blow him. So why I give the knife cut? Because it's going to open a little bit. That's what I'm doing. OK, now, as you see, he rise very nicely. Now I'm going to put him in the oven for 25 minutes, 190 degrees. So I'm going to put him in the oven now. There we are. I'll put him in the oven and see you in 25 minutes. Au revoir. So let's look, it's all finished now. We have one kilo of flour, one spoon of margarine, couple of spoons of salt, and a couple of spoons of yeast, I'll create that product. We'll be cooked in a fry pan for 15 or 20 minutes. That's lovely, that's soft. Could cut him, put him some butter, take him to school, or crack him, blow your place, stop ya. Blow make him capital, blow your place. You savez, thank you true. Stop easy, all right. And that plan, same plan mix, and bake him low oven. All right, and we'll crack him. Sample lunch for you, probably make him sandwich, okay. One kilo of flour, we give you those two things. One in a fry pan. Like I said, I all the time we do something for the elites and something for the people who, like me before, have nothing. So we could cook in a fire, we could cook a barbecue, blah, 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 or some people are more fortunate, and I'm cooking a big problem, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut that bread to show you how good is it. I'm so good. Oh, it's nice and soft. Oh, it's nice and soft. It's beautiful. OK, what gives that softness to the bread? That's the step as you're making it. Make the bread, sleep the bread, make the bread, sleep the bread. It's three times before you shape the bread. I will agree. Plus, the margarine that we give in this. Nice and beautiful elasticity we have on the bread. All right. And you see that's all the way. All the way. OK, my plan, on the plan, we put him the flour on top. Because I'm going to look, look, blow him. Huh? I'm good plan. Huh? The flour. I'm good plan. All right. OK, now, I'm doing the oven. The one we cook in a fry pan. Nice, very nice. Long, good plan, guy, guy. Time we cut him. See? Very nice. Okay, cut him the breakfast, 
1 plat, 2 plat, 3 plat, 4 plat. Quand il marche, je peux dire que je vais me battre le bras. Hop, hop, that's it. Battery comme, je vais me battre le bras. Ben, 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 If you put him liquid sugar, bro, up, bro, mix, bro, you. <coughs> ah, so, so smoking. Liquid cinnamon, come. Liquid fruit, come. You make a fruit bread. Same principle, same recipe. What do you add to that one? It's liquid cinnamon. You buy him in the shop, nutmeg. Liquid fruit, he come. And you mix him, like I've done before. You roll him, you cook him in the oven. Or you cook him in the fry pan, bro, you, bro. Same process. The salt bag shape. The mix I'll be giving you tonight, and one plat recipe that's the best for making bread. Now, think, think, bro, you, bro, put him some plat sugar, or some plat fat, or some plat cinnamon, and think, think, bro, you. Be like him, put him some plat uh, cocoa, lo mix. Some plat pumpkin, lo mix. Mix it together. Be like a big blast cold, bro, you, bro, you, come. He got flour, he got cocoa, all get a something you like him, he's tablo mix. Talk, save it, all. Up him here, bro, you, look, look good, huh? Okay, the next program, we're going to make donuts. So I want to see all there and see how we make donuts. It's the same principle. It go by step. One step, two step, three step. Don't can mix him, mix bro, you pride, or put him in a fry pan, or get us something, or rubbish, you know? You must make him good. You must make him rise, you must make him rest, you must make him the bubble, come up, blow his and play bro, you pride. So see you next week for my big donuts. Au revoir. <laughs> Chicken stock. Yes, chef. Thank you. Yeah. Things all right, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Music is the best remedy for the soul, and as Leon Gawi most creatively puts it, no matter what mood you're in, there is a melody, there is a beat, and there is a song just right for you. All you need is a good speaker to project your sound on. Here now is Leon Gawi taking us shopping for the Star Audio speakers at Brian Bell. Welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell, I'm Leon Gawi. In this segment, we'll check out our quality star audio speakers that we have available here for you to choose from. We'll check some of their features out and also we'll see what makes them a quality product for you. So let's get straight into it. Like our Star Vision televisions, our star audio speakers are quality devices that provide awesome sound quality for everyone to enjoy. And the beauty about this device is the fact that everyone can enjoy it. Who wouldn't enjoy some good music being played on these speakers? Now these speakers have similar features to each other with the AUX jack for playing music, a Bluetooth connectivity, flash drive playing connectivity, SD card playing ability, portable and easy to carry, can be easily connected to your smartphone, it's easy to set up and comfortably fits into any room. Music is something that everyone can relate to, whether you're feeling happy, whether you're feeling sad, whether you're feeling angry or whether you're just in that feel-good vibe, there's a song that can describe the way you feel for any moment of your life. Why not relieve those moments with a star audio speaker? Like this first speaker, which is absolutely ideal for the younger bunch of people who always enjoy the latest beats. You know who you are. This product is light on your wallet and at the same time gives you that boom or that edge when you're playing down the latest track that everyone's been raving about. 
This is a cool speaker to have bedside or in the corner of your room so you can enjoy the tracks in your music collection. With its AUX connectivity and Bluetooth connectivity, it's absolutely ideal to take your music listening to the next level. The next speaker to show is this Star Audio 3-piece multimedia speaker. This is absolutely perfect for your home or your room. The reason why it's perfect is because of the surround sound speakers that you can use to plug onto your laptop and get a better sound quality from the movies that you watch. Its slick design makes it pleasing to the eye and not only to the ears. You can enjoy all the latest music in the comfort of your own home. If you're hosting your mates and need a good speaker, this is your best bet. It's reasonably priced and portable and can be moved almost anywhere, provided that there is a PowerPoint. Next product to show is this Bigger Star Audio speaker. This speaker has the same features as the previous two products, but this is perfect for getting the party started. The reason why is because of the sound quality and the clarity that comes out of the speakers. This Star Audio speaker is ideal for your home, but not only limited to that, you can also have it in your coffee shop, your stall, or your trade store to attract customers. With its large speaker and woofer console, it gives you that thump when the beat drops. The next speaker is absolutely ideal for your churches, your event planners, and even your office. This is a three-piece star audio set, which consists of two speakers and an equalizer panel. Now for the churches, this is absolutely perfect to take on your outreaches or your evangelism rallies. For the event planners, this is ideal to take on your gigs. And for the office, you always have internal functions, right? Well, this speaker system is absolutely perfect to cater to your Easter functions, your Christmas functions, or even your farewells. This device is easy to use and it's made from plastic, meaning that it can assist to keep the elements out. This can be used in many different places without getting damaged. You can connect up to four microphones that choirs can use. At the same time, with the equalizer panel, you can equalize the sound so you get the best quality out from their performance, leaving the audience breathless and applauding. While we're in this department, I'd like to mention that tomorrow night will be the final installment for this 2016 State of Origin series. Will the Blues salvage some pride and stop the Mighty Maroons, or will it be a Maroon whitewash? Either way, you're going to have to watch it on TV. Now we have some specials on our Sharp Archeos TVs that are absolutely perfect for you to watch the game on. Don't miss all the big hits, tries, and pivotal moments of this thrilling event. Come on in, check out our TVs on special, and get one for yourself. And while we're on the topic of Rugby League, our very own PNG Hunters have become the pride of Rugby League in PNG. They've captivated the hearts and minds of many Papua New Guineans. Brian Bell sells genuine Hunters merchandise, and I'm thrilled to inform you that there is also a special on all the Hunters jerseys that we stock and sell. It's not 10%, it's not even 20%, but a massive 30% off on all Hunters jerseys. You heard me right. Don't buy cheap imitations on Hunters merchandise. Come in and get genuine merchandise from Brian Bell and support our boys in their hunt for their maiden Intra Super Cup Premiership. And always remember, great prices, great products, and great after sales service, that's Brian Bell. So until next time, goodbye and God bless. Go the mighty Maroons! No, ah, no, 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 bro, 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 bro. Music, 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 music. A pet or companion animal is an animal kept primarily for a person's company or protection. Pets are more like humans' best friends. Well, I personally love puppies even more. They're so cute and cuddly. We now join our friends from the RSPCA talking to us about their pet adoption process. My name is Alice and I'm the General Manager at RSPCA Papua New Guinea. Uh, my role is to 
oversee the services that we offer here, which include uh, veterinary services, education, we have a shelter, we run a pound service, uh, and all of that is mostly based in Port Moresby, but we are also looking at expanding across to other parts of Papua New Guinea, which is really exciting. So at Port Moresby, we have about 20 dogs and uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 cats and kittens available for adoption at any time. Uh, these are all animals that have been assessed as healthy by a veterinarian. So they think they're friendly, healthy animals that would make great companions for people, great family pets. We invite anyone that would be thinking about getting a new pet for their family to come into the shelter and apply for one. And what this means is telling us a bit about yourself. We just want to know that you're going to love the animal, treat the animal well. And we have a whole range of animals from big, small, young and old, uh, outgoing to the quieter ones that uh, would make great pets for people that might be interested. Something that we'd like to get across to the public today is about how much uh, the adoption of an animal into your life can really enrich your, the quality of your life, how much joy it can bring to you. We want people to see that the animals that we have are really, they're good animals, they're good quality animals, they're not rejects or the animals that people don't want. And, and for people to know that it's a safe process, they know they're getting something that's healthy, it's not gonna bite their children, you're not bringing diseases into the family. They're really good quality, healthy animals that uh, anyone would want in their house. Uh, so we'll be hearing today from one of our previous adopters, Ruth, who also works with us. And she adopted her pet back in 2014. Uh, you'll see them today. They're still going well. You'll see how happy that um, Princess has made her family. And that's what we'd like people to see, that we love people across Port Moresby and even Papua New Guinea if they're interested in bringing another animal into their home to come and see us at the shelter, come and meet the animals that we have. We have lots of services that can help them find the right animal, buy the right products, uh, get the veterinary care that they need for their animals right here. All right, so the adoption process is really easy. There are a couple of steps. So the first thing is have a talk to your family about what type of animal you're looking for. Make sure everyone's on the same page. Do you want a dog? Do you want a cat? Do you want something that's really active and you're going to be doing some exercises? Or do you want a couch potato that's going to sit on your floor or on your couch? Um, once you've decided that, you can have a look at our animals. They're on our RSPCA website. You can see some pictures and there's a little bit about their profile there. You can also come into our shelter here uh, in Port Moresby. Our opening hours are between 8.30 and 6, so you can come in and meet the animals here. We have staff that know a bit about the, the individuals themselves, so they can help you match up with the right one for you. After that, there's a process of filling out an application form. As we discussed, we want to know uh, that the animal would be safe, that the animal would be cared for. Uh, we just want the animal to go to as good a home as possible. And after that, there is a adoption fee attached to it. Now, uh, probably what should be mentioned is that the cost of what we do for the animal is much more than what you pay for it. So we ask for 100 kina for a dog and 75 kina for a cat. And that covers the animal being desexed. It's been checked by a vet, vaccinated, wormed, fleed. You'd pay heaps more if you were going to do it outside of here. And it ensures that you've got, you've got a friendly, healthy animal. And after that, there may be a bit of a time delay because we just need to make sure that the animal has been desexed and is ready to go. But as long as you can wait a few days, after that, your animal will be ready to go, come home to you. Uh, you might want to think about getting some products for your animals. So if you haven't had a pet before, you might want to make sure you've got food, uh, bowls, brushes, collars, leads. Have a think about that. Um, and the good news is that we do sell that here at the clinic, so we can fit you out with everything you need on the day. Me not been got interest the past time to look at them anymore, but once me join my RSPC, also, me look at them anymore, and the importance of me been apply the princess. Now me been put my application in, now all management have been approving application for princess. Now me been, before the mix in my adoption, all talk long, but got a lot of this texting past time, so maybe been wait long, two plus weeks. 
Mami wait na all bendy sex ime. En bendy sex finish o ke buon plongen il na all toke milo. Kisim pay a hundred kina blo adoption fee na ten kina blo NCDC doctor. So min bin pay na min bin adopting princess. Tai min bin ar adopting princess o se mi looki mo se a pay tem mo important lo o se ma o se ria blo mi plan a. I was looking at them, they were playful. I was walking tired and I was lost. The princess was making me feel alive. I was able to jump on top of me, lick me. My closest friend was me, and I was able to stop me. My best friend was me. I was able to get upside down, and I was able to get upside down. I was able to get upside down, and I was able to get upside down. I was able to get upside down, and I was able to get upside down. I was able to get upside down, and I was able to get upside down. But I was able to get upside down, and I was able to get upside down. You mean man's a feeling na make him ya. Em ba kam fighti man em ba talk. Seven kai kai area. Em also man but no got ting ting. You mean all man got ting ting so. You mean must feed him all dry. Or some good pla kai kai when me pla kai kai. Na give him all shelter. One em can sickness all got all must carry can lau sick. Na or some all can all can see medication all this la. Princess and one la good pla friend blah blah. Eating disorders are psychological disorders characterized by abnormal or disturbed eating habits. Here now is Dr. Ambi talking to us about eating disorders. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Welcome to Healthy Mind. Well, we was in this la evening and me me hammer must to lot of talk lo one plus good plus topic where I'm sure many very teenagers or papa mama would love to understand a bit more into eating disorder. So one topic we are going to talk about eating disorder. It's all about eating. There are two different in illnesses or disorders which bothers many of us, not only in PNG, but throughout the world. They are called anorexia and bulimia. Tuplanemia, you may must understand him little more yet low today's segment. Well, everybody eats. So you know you you sabe or say you me must kai kai. Why na you me kai kai? Because we need to eat for our own body and our mind and also to stay healthy and for a long life. So we need to have right nutrition to look after ourselves and stay healthy. Why do we eat? Again, we love eating because we enjoy eating different food with what we taste, different culture, different way of understanding. And one plus something you mean must boom blow time blow party, time blow gathering, time time blow boom one time. You may kai kai emi bit plus something lo you me. Or same lo you me save or same kai kai emi important lo life lo you me. Also we enjoy and tasting in a different way. Today, we have to remember something. You may all get a human being. We have a human behavior. And we got some like kind trouble come up. This like why now I chose this anorexia and bulimia, like two plus disorders. Why now you may discuss? Because very many of our young kids, we know that we have got a lot of teenage kids in our life. In this country, we are subjected to see internet, na kind blow, you savvy law, piney more fashionist, or look look low fashion show, or looking low movie. Some like time all teenage kids, as they grow, as they change in their body and the mind and everything, they want to role model on certain people. They want their body to look like certain people. So they are also psychologically induced we won't talk about the causes today but many of us we have ideas so there is what happening is as with the human behavior there are some huge difference between people that some people eat more some people eat less 
and also we put we don't think some blood time we go extreme to do things to stay slim or to stay how we want how we perceive one plus something you mean masave was an easy for us to talk about individuals but they suffer some black kind of symptoms when they go through a lot of issues we are not talking about causes but in general or same all man some black kind of time or band kai kai plenty or can kai kai you know you know plenty or some lick lick straight some black time and can develop some black kind the of eating disorder which you na me must understanding so that you can look after your own kids as the time comes you know lo fright me blow some lo harim some black kind of knowledge and by I can help him you me yeah so they develop this la like kind issues from you know or some today not tomorrow or some little time yet and by start that come come go or some lo some black kind time and go behind and can develop lo this la kind issues people are looking more some more women are 10 times more than men to develop this anorexia and bulimia m2 blood disorder lo kai kai disorder now you may understand what is this anorexia we know these things start at the age of teenage age group the what are the symptoms you may must look look all this la kind pikinini only got anorexia we talk about anorexia number one or same only got fear of fatness number two they have under eating number three they exercise a loss to they exercise so much to lose weight and this lacania all come vigorous exercise huh? now all same monthly period or maria law sick moon by stop or same this last sample like kind uh, the, you know or some low symptoms and we stop one time uh, you know anorexia you may look him also mean this last sick year by start low time low teenage like around 15 years some it can start even in the go on glow uh, mid 30s and 40s because then this starts on the working class like the managerial position or professional people they want to keep up so we'll beginning need to look him also low fit straight now all this like i'm thinking and me come up and what happens the anorexia anorexia begins with everyday dieting or like was a more me like walking or say me like i'm not telling the good dieting to stay healthy to get rid of lifestyle this is an abnormal way of dieting sometimes it can go into teenage girls to go very strong low thing thing low diet too much so about third time you know more of these anorexia kids they have overweight they are very plumish when they are young and as the time goes only or some more like lose weight now stop here yeah? and by go low wrong way likely guy you know or some good plow way of dieting and go low abnormal way of dieting to stay very thin so what are the things we need to know excessive you might look also more picking in here exercise vigorously they talk slimming tablets or pills or this like kind all by look look now go now you look him also losing appetite anorexia means we are losing appetite all right so what we have to do is it, you can lose appetite because of other physical illnesses but here we are talking about eating disorder bulimia is another black kind sick you look him also they have fear of fatness binge eating that means kai kai plenty number three normal weight they can have normal weight but they can have ir irregular period that means irregular menstrual period or same low sigmund and vomiting and excessive use of laxative laxative also same you kai kas kisi mol some black kind tablet lo pet pet wara no go through huh? so it can affect all the age groups so anorexia start now i'm go low bulimia so you must look look low young black people kinini or some pusati lick lick chabi chabi and me stop now all right now suddenly and make him try plow way low loose weight yeah you may must look at him or pikinini good through because exaggerate way of dieting or fat you want to lose weight very fast and losing uh, laxative or put him all honey go low mouse na throw 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 because this particular bulimia group they eat a lot that means they eat a lot of cake you eat a lot of chocolate and they come to a point of feeling guilty all in of feeling hamamas all feeling depressed the next minute all kai kai penis or put him finger go low mouse na throw to go throw to go low rouse him all get a kai kai that's called binge eating and vomiting and come up so this eating 
ना खा बीतिया एम वन प्लस समथिंग यू स्टार्ट वॉमिटिंग सो मच एंड यू लूज वेट एंड ऑल्सो इट गोज इन अ सर्कल इस लॉय विशेष सर्कल और सेम खाई खाए थू मास और खाए नो गुड खाई खाए और सेम चॉकलेट ना केक ना बिस्कट हाउ मस प्ला और ली खाई खाए ना थ्रोम गो वॉमिटिंग गो 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 ना लूज वेट नो गुड थ्रू ना एम कैन क्रिएट इम सम प्ला काइन कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस विल व्यूज व्हाट आर वी डूइंग दिस केयोटिक वे ऑफ अ of eating you know good blood through lo you me ha huh? also now you me harim penis lo one am something anorexia and also bulimia am two plus kind of eating disorder am i come up lo all young plaul pikinini or mid 20s or mid 30s we are not saying that everybody wants to look good is not suffering from that but we want to learn more on the knowledge and we will understand bit more so that if your young kids who are exposed to a kind kind way lo understanding what is going around the world they may be getting into this way of eating disorder that is the very reason you meet talk talk lot today so one am something what is the consequences what are the causes well viewers i want to tell you something keep looking at healthy mind because next week we will talk about the consequences and also uh, you know one am kind causes and how we can help well i'm sure more than anything papa god am i in control of life lo you me this like knowledge and can help him all papa mama lo keep him i lo good through lo pick me blow you me now stay all walk him all get a pick me he stay healthy until next time put him papa god good through lo life lo you me put him first plan lo life lo you me now make him big plan difference lo country lo you me take care and god bless you all bye bye now Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Technology since the dawn of mankind people have been pushing the boundaries of technology from one level to the next. New devices being invented and practically created to make it easier for communication, education purposes and so much more. Here now is our brand new segment which is Tech People. Have a look. Hey guys, I'm Godfrey and welcome to Tech People. A new segment focused on the weird and interesting world of technology. Now here on the show we'll be giving you the latest news, reviews from the huge companies like Apple, Samsung and Sony. Now on today's segment we'll be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. The successor to last year's popular S6 Edge. Now in this day and age one of the items most likely to be found on someone's person is a smartphone. They are everywhere. The IBM Simon is generally regarded to as the first ever smartphone. It was the first phone to feature apps, it used a stylus and had a touchscreen. It was released in 1994 in the US at a whopping $899. Now smartphones have come a long way since then. so much so that they've been regarded to as a technological staple to anyone living in this decade ever since then smartphones have become smarter and faster each iteration improvement upon the last now with the release of the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge in particular with its large display and curved screen it was clear that Samsung was going through a bit of an experimental stage but in the end they managed to hit a mark with their new design getting popularity and feeling their rivalry with other devices most notably Apple's iPhone 6. Now, I've had my S6 Edge Plus for just about a year now, and however perfect it seemed, it did have its issues. With this completely internalized design, this made sure that all of the device's components like battery and storage were all sealed within the device. This did give it a more streamlined and contained look, but it also sacrificed the use of external storage like micro SD cards, as well as being able to change batteries. However, with the arrival of the S7 and the S7 Edge, It looks like Samsung has listened to its customers and made a few changes. All right, so here's the S7 Edge. Such a beauty, isn't she? Slick, sexy, and simple. Samsung's signature design, with volume and power buttons that have been perfected over five generations, and a home key with a fingerprint scanner. I mean, on the outside, it's basically a clone of the S6. But honestly, I cannot tell you how many times I've had my S6 slip past my pocket when I try to put it away. Like literally, because it's happened so many times, I've lost count. You know, I often forget how alarmingly thin the S6 models were. 
I guess that's probably because I wrapped my S6 in like two different cases in a screen protector. So anyway, one thing you might notice, or maybe not unless you're as obsessive as I am, is that it's a little thicker than the S6. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, however, because it's allowed for a less prominent camera bump. So the lens doesn't get scratched when you try to place it down. This also means that the device is a little heavier. And although given how slippery the S6 felt in your hands, a little weight and thickness is a welcome change. It's also allowed for better hardware to be placed inside. However, it is still quite slippery. With the display size, I mean, there's little that Samsung could have done to improve upon its already near perfect screen. So it's surprising to see how they can top that of the screen they introduced with the S6. Now you'll notice that the screen size has gone up by 0.4 inches, giving the user a bit more display area, but not to gigantic proportions like that of the S6 Edge Plus, which doesn't even fit into half the pants pockets I own. So as with that, the edges of the phone are now a lot more rounded out, making it easier for the user to hold. I mean, it's still the same screen resolution, though the pixel density just drops slightly due to the larger display size. A minute difference, however, can only be noticed on paper. The screen is also protected, as always, by Corning Gorilla Glass 4, which is the industry standard for Samsung, and it helps to prevent breaks and scratches. Just don't push it, okay? It, it still has its breaking point. Now, since the day I started using my S6, I gotta say that the battery performance has decreased a lot. When I first got the phone, it was quite strong right out of the box. However, over time, the strength has decreased considerably. I mean, the S6 models were released with game-changing fast chargers and wireless fast chargers, which could and still can charge my phone from 0 to 100% in roughly a single hour. But the batteries have not held themselves together since. I mean, to the point that I have to charge my phone at work every day. A minor inconvenience, but if I do forget my charger, then I'm in big trouble. And that brings us to the S7 Edge's battery. The S7 Edge possesses a 3600 milliamp hour battery. This just means that it's a definite improvement over last year's S6 Edge, as well as the S6 Edge Plus. This means more playtime for the device at around five hours of continuous screen time. However, the battery still remains stuck within the body. As for the processing capabilities, it's definitely a step up from its predecessor. Rocking a completely new core than the S6, it's satisfingly fast. And with its four gigs of RAM, it easily bounces between several apps, making it excellent for multitasking. Now, even with the four gigs of RAM and a solid processor, the S6 Edge did have some bugs with its software. After several months of continuous use, I began to be affected by random freezes. Although the frequency of these freezes and bugs have decreased ever since I updated my user software to Android 6.0, also known as Marshmallow, which comes already running on the S7 Edge. It contains bug fixes and is a little easier on the battery. Time is a resource that is always taken for granted. It has fascinated mankind since the dawn of civilization and one would think that by now, we would be masters of time management. But sadly, that is not the case. Life Hacks takes you one step closer to being a better time manager and a better person. We show you how to do your daily chores effectively with half the effort and time. Let's get into it. Ever since its invention in 1910 by American inventor Louis E. Balsley, Binder clips have been making a difference silently in the lives of many people around the world. We pay tribute to a wonderful and simple invention that has helped make the world everything that it is today. An important element of personal grooming is shaving. Disposable shaving handles have become the preferred choice for anyone who values personal grooming but these disposable blades can cause nasty cuts to anyone who comes into contact with the blades. Binder clips can make excellent disposable shaving handle blade safety guards. No cuts, no fuss, all just elegant grooming. Keeping your living or workspace tidy can make or break a productive and enjoyable day for you. Putting your rubbish in the bin is a good way to start, if you are not already. Although at times your bin bag in your rubbish bin is difficult to keep in place, use binder clips to keep your bin bag in your rubbish bin in place. You now have the power to make keeping tidy less of a chore.
books really are something out of this world. Reading is a great way to pass time. Do not lose that page. Use a binder clip as your bookmark. We have come to the end of our show. If you have any comments or questions or if you would like us to do a segment on a topic of interest to you, please feel free to get in touch with us on the email address now showing on your screen. You can also give us a call on 325-7322 and ask to speak to the House at Home team. You can also get in touch with us or catch up on any of our shows you have missed through our House and Home Facebook page or you could also visit MTV online. Thank you for joining us here on House and Home. It's goodbye for now. We care about improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life.